Application of tariffs. What are we learning in this section? In this section, we will draw graphs to compare and interpret tariffs. Let us run straight to the example. In this example, we are told that an electrical engineer claims that fluorescent light bulbs use one quarter the amount of electricity and last eight times longer than regular light bulbs. However, a fluorescent light bulb costs more than a regular light bulb. Let us look at the first question. If a fluorescent light bulb uses 15 watts of electricity per hour, the question is, how many kilowatts does a regular light bulb use in one hour? We know that the word kilo means a thousand. So, one kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts. Let us change 15 watts to kilowatts. How do we do that? We simply divide 15 watts by 1000. Using a calculator, 15 divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.015. So, 15 watts is the same as 0 0.015 kilowatts. Look at the table. They claim that fluorescent light bulbs use one quarter the amount of electricity. So, a regular light bulb will use 60 watts per hour. This is true because 15 multiplied by 4 is equal to 60. 60 watts is the same as 0 0.060 kilowatts. So, a regular light bulb uses 0 0.06 kilowatts of electricity per hour. If town power charges 75.65 cents per kilowatt hour and a fluorescent light bulb uses 15 watt of electricity per hour, show that the hourly running cost of using a fluorescent bulb in rent and cents rounded off to the nearest cent is 1 cent. Let us write down the formula for calculating the hourly running cost. The charge is 75.65 cents per kilowatt hour. Let us put 75.65 in the place of cents per kilowatt hour. 75.65 is here. The fluorescent light bulb uses 15 watt per hour. 15 watt is the same as 0 0.015 kilowatts. Let us put 0 0.015 in the place of kilowatt hour. So far we have hourly running cost is equal to 0 0.015 multiplied by 75.65. Let us multiply 0 0.015 with 75. 65. Get your calculator ready. 0 0.015 multiplied by 75.65 is equal to 1,13475. 1,13475 cents is down here. Let us convert 1,13475 cents to rent. To do this, we divide by 100. 1,13475 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0,0113. 0 0,0113 is closer to 1 cent. Let us have a look at the next question. The given table 
shows the total cost of using a fluorescent light bulb and a regular light bulb. Study the table and answer the questions that follow. Use the table to calculate the values of A and B. To calculate the value of B, we simply multiply 0 0,04 by 150 hours, then add 3 rand and 99 cents. Using a scientific calculator, 0 0,04 multiplied by 150 plus 3,99 is equal to 9,99. So, the value of B is 9 rand and 99 cents. The value of A is 17 rand and 95 cents. To get the value of A, multiply 0 0,01 by 100 hours, then add 16 rand and 95 cents. Have your scientific calculator ready. 0 0,01 multiplied by 100 plus 16,95 is equal to 17,95. 17,95 is the value of A. Write down the formula for determining the total cost of a regular bulb. The formula for determining the total cost of a regular bulb is given by total cost is equal to 3,99 rand plus 0 0,04 multiplied by number of hours used. This 3 rand and 99 cents is the basic fee. This 4 cents is the hourly running cost. The hourly running cost must be multiplied by the number of hours used. Let us have a look at this example. Lazarus has to travel to Mokopani. He wants to travel using a bus or a taxi. Look at the pictures. Let us look at the first question. The bus company charges a basic fee of 25 rand plus 25 cents for every kilometer traveled. Let us write down the formula for determining the total cost of traveling by a bus. The formula for determining the total cost of using the bus is given by Total cost is equal to 25 rand plus 25 cents multiplied by number of kilometers traveled. This 25 rand is the basic fee. This 25 cents is the rate per kilometer. This rate per kilometer must be multiplied by the number of kilometers traveled. Phoenix, please complete this table. To calculate the cost of using the bus after 20 kilometers, we simply multiply 0 0.25 rand by 20, then add the 25 rand basic fee. Have your calculator ready. 0 0.25 multiplied by 20 plus 25 is equal to 30. Let us write 30 rand here. For traveling a distance of 20 kilometers by bus, you will pay 30 rand. In the same way, we can conclude that after 30 kilometers, the cost will be 32 rand and 50 cents. After 40 kilometers, the cost will be 35 rand. Our complete table should look like this. Let us quickly draw two graphs using the information in the table. Our graphs should look like this. Look at the table again. Look at this column. After 60 kilometers, the cost of using the taxi 
is equal to the cost of using the bus. The two graphs intersect or meet here. We call this point the break-even point. This line represents the cost of using the taxi. This other line represents the cost of using the bus. This 10 ren is the basic fee charged when using the taxi. This 25 ren is the basic fee charged when using the bus. The two graphs do not start at zero because both transport methods have a basic fee. Try the following activity. The first one has been done for you.